So this is the second part of the customized tools. In this tutorial, we will be learning how to use the further tools to get the uh, perfect uh, corner finishing for the same sort profile of the door. So just open the art cam. In the previous tutorial, we were here. You can see here the we are up to here. So I am just copying the same vector design and uh, pasting that design to the new model. You can see here there is a round here. I just want the same perfectly rectangular uh, corner finishing here as you like this in image. You can see. So here we go. Just paste the vector and uh, the chair profile which we have created in the previous tutorial we need to input that you can see here just input that and uh, you can see and uh, mirror that while mirroring make sure the join and the copy should be on and make mirror now uh, select all and go in the extrude and uh, you can see here this is the perfect corner finishing that I we are discussing so just say apply now uh, if you have watched the previous tutorial the diameter of the tool which we are use this we have considered that diameter as a 50 mm so I am just drawing a offset of 50 mm to the inside just say offset and you see the offset will be created now I will draw a squares of 50 by 50 side to the corner and uh, to each corner I will draw You can see here cursor sign changes. See, so you need to draw the same squares like this to the all corners. So you can see I'm drawing the uh, all the square to the corner of the vector designs like this. You can press the Ctrl Alt to copy vertically downwards and in order to move the perfectly vertical just press alt and I draw the all the side corners squares so after drawing the all the squares of the corner side of the vector design the design will look like this and uh, now we need to cut the outside or just delete the outside rectangles we no need just delete you can see the only the corner rectangles will be there now we need to draw see this cursor sign is changing it indicates the midpoint just draw the straight lines from midpoint to midpoint of every squares You can see the cursor sign change. This is the midpoint. Like this, you need to draw to join to join all the square power midpoints. You can see the sign. This sign of the round and this uh, line is indicates the perfectly horizontal. And the C, the sign change is for the midpoint. So like this, you need to draw all and connect all. So like this you need to join all the midpoints to midpoint. And all the join lines as a one part group them. 
before grouping them uh, trim them the extra lines like this so you can see here the there is no need to join auto join on just trim the out extra part that is coming inside the corner squares okay so it is being deleted now need to group all the lines that we have drawn group them by holding the shift button you can see like this you need to group them and uh, also the corner rectangle as the second group and uh, after deleting there uh, there is a shape profile there is no need of after using extrude you can delete it now just press on the lines only and go in the toolpath choose the profile in the profile select along and uh, give this to any depth as a 79 as per discussed in the previous tutorial and a uh, created tool choose the uh, T1 uh, like this the tool which we have this one we created just select and uh, click in. define the material as a 10 mm ok and calculate now then uh, select the corner finishing rectangles go in the tool path 3D tool path go in the machine relief and uh, in the whole relief choose the selected vectors inside vectors and for the finishing option a uh, finishing tool uh, choose the radius engraving 6mm if you don't find this tool you can add these tools from here by radius engraving and giving the same parameter as I have given in this you can note down the parameters from this and I give the same parameters like this I have given just say ok and uh, select and uh, calculate now so in this tutorial uh, we are using the two tools the first tool is the one which uh, this one and uh, the second tool which we uh, I have just shown you the created the cone, uh, radius engraving is this one so uh, after calculating just go in the tool path simulation and simulate all tool paths so now you can see you will get the correct corner finishing like this and uh, uh, so the customer problem is solved you can see the difference uh, first uh, apply the material as the same as the first previous tutorials just apply light or vertical you will see the same material here see the perfect corner finishing and compared to the this one so after this you need to save the toolpath as go in the toolpath and uh, save toolpath as if you are using uh, you if you are not using the automatic tool changer you can save it into two files like uh, in this new group 3 axis flat.mmg and uh, if you are using automatic tool changer you have to save the tool profile file in a, a post processor file of the ATC that you are using if you are using the Shenkan CNC machineries you can you have to use that format like this Shenkan multi tool dot CNC so i hope you like the video please uh, comment and subscribe and for the cnc access purchase you can contact me